What's up, what's up everybody? Today we are going to take a look at the only Frankenstein in Summoner's War that has a side job as a porn star. That's right, we're gonna take a look at Driller, the Light Frankenstein. Oh, Jubakel's got jokes. All right, let's take a look at his uh, his skills. Hammer Punch attacks the enemy two times, deals damage proportion to your defense. Each attack has a 25% chance to stun the enemy for one turn. If the target is not suffering any harmful effect, one additional attack is added. So, if the target does not have any harmful effects on them, it does three attacks. Could be, what is it, three, each each attack has a 25% chance to stun, so that's an extra percentage chance to stun. Could be good in TOA if you're using him in TOA. If you're like, man, I really need to stun this guy, let me make sure there's no debuffs. Actually, it's really hard to make sure there's no debuffs on monsters in TOA, because most of your teams are, like, really debuff heavy. Okay, so stun the first skill, it's nice. Body press crushes all enemies and decreases the attack bar of each enemy by 30%. This damage of this attack is proportioned to your max HP and defense. So he's an HP monster, but he's really kind of a defense monster too. Um, but it's an AoE attack bar decrease by 30%. So you already know what I'm going to say. Do you know what I'm going to say though? Do you? Do you? That this is similar to the Hell Stomp. Okay. Similar to the Hell Stomp, so I love to use Basalt in. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, okay, so let's see, let's see how how many turns this is going to be uh, when we go to Amber's Island. Thank you, Amber, for letting us use your driller. Let's see how uh, how many turns it's going to be for that. And we'll see if that could be better than uh, Basalt even. I don't know. I don't know. And then we have... What else? What's the third skill? Third skill is attacks the enemy four times. Deals damage proportion to your defense. Two additional attacks are added if the enemy's max HP is lower than yours. And if the target is suffering a harmful effect. Okay. So max HP lower and target suffering harmful effect. So she uses him... She, she said she used him with... Um, the Wind Neostone Agent and Bella in Guild Battles, and he did really, really good. So six, I guess she was doing six, uh, six hits with this. She was doing defense break and six hits. So let's see. You don't have, I know, I know, fail, I don't have a leader skill. But uh, Olivia, the Wind, uh, the Wind, whatchamacallit, the Wind Neostone Agent, I already said that, right? The, the Wind Neostone Agent, actually does a guild battle defense increasing skill plus she has her third skill increases defense as well so I really want to see the damage that this guy's gonna do so we've got a defense break and then let's see the pound taking him down to pound town so every time hold on oh and he's on violet too so every time he crit he did 8,000 damage. Hold on, can we get the Quackalator out? That's six hits for 8,000 damage on the Quackalator. I'm getting the Quackalator. Hold on, hold on. We didn't crit on all of them, but that's 49, it's like 8,000 change. That's like 50,000 damage. For those of you that didn't notice. 50,000 damage. Oh my God. Body press. That's not bad. That's not bad. And he's a tank. He's a tank that does 50,000 single target damage. Based on HP and defense. He doesn't even have to be a rune for attack. The beautiful thing about... Uh, let's check that out. But there's no uh, defense buff. In this. So, okay. So there, there was no defense buff. We're just going to check out in different uh, scenarios. <gasps> no, don't make all my guys sleep. Why? Don't do that. All right, let's see the pound without the taking him down to pound town. All right, there we go without the without the defense break. And then let's see the defense break with the oh. Bzzzt. Okay, we killed him anyway. Uh, let's try. I want to try the second skill with the uh, the defense break and the uh, the defense buff. 
that right. There we go. Actually, this guy, he's got a stun and he's got an A. He's got a stun on the first skill and he's got an AOE attack gauge reduction on the second skill. This guy's actually pretty good for uh, for TOA. I must say, funsies. What the? What is even going on in chat? I don't know. We'll we'll find we'll find it. All right, let's go to Amber's Island. see what his stats are. El Statisticos. I'm curious to see... Well, I was curious to see the Soha. Let's look at the Soha fine. Let's look at the Soha. I'm just curious how her runes on her Soha are. Okay, so... Tech or damage attack, but something else. It's not rage or fatal. So, violent. Speed crit... Oh. I don't think she's using that. Just curious. Just out of curiosity. Just out of curiosity. Oh my god. I think that's just holding runes at the time being. So this is this is the monster that she uses, uh Olivia is the monster that she was using uh the uh the driller with. So Olivia's got uh let's see what kind of rune she's got on her. She's got HP, HP, H oh, so she was actually using this with with her though okay okay and she was using the bella her bella now we we showed my bella we, we didn't show her bella okay so her bell's uh upgraded quite a bit and then here is the driller 64 percent crit rate 143 percent crit damage so if we ruin this with uh so we we have what defense crit damage defense Violent something else violent endure. I'm seeing this high resistance This is resistance. Okay, so that's from awakening uh, So violent something But or is it defense crit damage and HP? Something like that something like that, but that's looks like it's what she was focusing on with that Let's check out the runes. Okay, violent guard defense Crit damage, defense. And just HP here, substat. HP here, substat. HP and crit rate, HP and crit rate. And speed. And speds. Crit rate, attack, HP, speed. And then what kind of substats do we have on here? Crit rate and HP. Uh, accuracy, resistance, and crit damage. And then speed and HP and resistance. So there we go. Um... Wow, not even upgraded. What? Okay, so this is reusable. It's going to be re uh, reusable in three turns. And then... Wow, so this is even going to do more damage and be reusable in three turns as well. So let's see, does she have Basalt? No, she doesn't. Oh, but congratulations on Wind Hell Lady. So what do we say? This is three turns. And this is gonna have. Well, we already know. We we already saw uh, my Frankenstein in the last video. Not the last video, but three turns that that's available in. Let's see when it's fully skilled up. The Frankenstein's. So let's see what basalt is. So three turns. So it's the same as basalt. Except the Basalt decreases the attack age a little bit more. Basalt has a Provoke on the first skill, which is sometimes better than the, uh, the Stun on the first skill. Uh, depends. It's situational sometimes. Stun is better, sometimes Provoke is better. Um, and then Basalt, of course, has the heal and the defense break. Uh, the, sorry, the defense buff. But Basalt doesn't have a single target nuke on the third one. So... That being said, thank you, Amber Vixen, for letting us use your... I gotta collect these, these gemmy gems. 
Uh, thank you, Amber Vixen, for letting us use your driller, the late Frankenstein slash porn star. Uh, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video. All right. So I was able to use another account. Another account. Yes, I was able to use. Why do I? Why am I talking like that? I was able to use another account to play with Driller. Different Driller though. So we're gonna take a look at this one as well. Where's my defense buffer? Where's my defense buffer? Uh, I had one. I had one. Where is he? I had one. I know I had one. I swear I had a defense buffer. Oh, there we are. Or would this be better? Would this be better? This has a defense buffer as well. And a provoke. And a provoke. Alright, so we'll take we'll take this one. I think we're set, right? We got defense, defense, defense break, and does damage based on defense. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. <laughs> Let's make it happen. Let's eat a sandwich. Oh, I want a sandwich. I gotta stay on track. Stay on track. Summoner's War. Summoner's War. Not sandwiches. Sandwiches are over here. This Summoner's War is over here. We gotta, we gotta focus. Focus. Okay. So you have defense leader skill, defense buff. Ah, I didn't even check. I didn't even check to see what their... Veramos is going to go after Dr No, Veramos could go after Bella too. Let's see if we can... Let's see if... Oh, 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 oh come on. You son bitch. You son bitch. All right, good. We stunned him. Uh, good. Good job. Good job, Trevor. We can body press, decrease some attack gauges. And now we pull a roar. Oh, we gotta increase that. Oh. Come on. No, come on, come on, come on. Ah, uh, I took the defense break off! You... <laughs> Alright, Bella, come on. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Now, we got the defense buff. Let's uh, put it back on one. Let's nuke this bitch. There we go. Because... Screw you. That's why. Um, you know what? Let's provoke Trevor. Beautiful. Because I don't want him hitting Bella. Ooh, good revenge. That's awesome. Oh, and then he just re-provokes every time. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Uh, who else do we want to hit? Who else do we want to hit? Let's try to kill Bella next. Because Bella's going to keep doing this fudging. Yeah, I think we need to take that off too. This kind of... Ooh. Don't even... Don't even- actually, that was pretty decent. Oh, why'd I do that? <gasps> okay, do I provoke or do I defense- I think we provoke. And then- ooh, fanatic. Good, 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 good. I meant to do that. I meant to just be super smart. I think we got a- oh, you know what? I should have stunned. I should have stunned. Yeah, we, we got a defense buff, because this Trevor's going to actually start hitting hard. Alright, yeah. Was it Vampire Trevor? Yeah, he healed, so he must have been Vampire Trevor. Alright, so Beretta's not any problem anymore. Can we stun? No, we're just going to take a massive amount of damage. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta build one of these. I have to build one of those. It's kind of, he's kind of fun. Alright. Cool beans. So we got to take a look at him in Arena. 
No, we're not gonna we're not gonna buy that. No, it's not even my account. I'm not buying you a light dark package. I'm gonna get an email. Yo, bro, why can't you buy me a light dark? I let you use my account. Why can't you buy me a light dark package? Let's take a look at uh, this guy's runes as well, because I'm sure some of you guys might want to build him. He's got 30,000 HP. His speed needs work. His speed needs work. Doesn't his... He attacks based on his defense, though, right? His accuracy could be better. So, Violent Revenge, we saw. We see HP, HP, HP. He heals based on HP, right? Uh, recovery mouse portion to my max HP. That's why he's HP, HP, HP. I like him on Revenge. It's kind of funny. Uh, it is fun. It is fun. Um, and then we have... Oh, my God. I'm getting sneezy. Don't get sneezy. Uh, so, nothing is based on his defense. His defense, like the Dark One. Okay, for some reason I thought his first skill was based on his defense. And then, just in case you want to see the Bella, there's the stats on Bella. Speed, defense, HP. And we got some uh, accuracy, HP, resistance kind of things over there. Resistance, accuracy, accuracy. There's the stats on there. And then here's the stats on who else do we have? Chloe? You know how Chloe's ruined, right? Super high speed. That's like the same speed as my Chloe, actually. But you're on Will, so that's actually better than my Chloe. Actually, how is this better than my Chloe? Oh, you have speed. I think I'm... I don't have very good speed on uh, 4 and 6. Okay. And then we see Driller. Here's Driller. He's got 62% crit rate, 150% crit damage. Um, HP could be better because his skill is based on. Uh, I've mentioned before his skill is based on HP. Oh, so he could have more damage on that as well. But this is based on max HP and defense. And then this is also max HP as well. So, could have more HP subs. Uh, accuracy, crit rate, crit damage, defense, good, and speed. That's a good rune. Crit damage, accuracy, defense, a little speed. Uh, defense, crit rate, resistance. I mean, these could have some more substats on them, which would be nice. Crit rate, accuracy, resistance, speed. Uh, and then resistance, defense, HP, crit. So he's ruined. He's ruined for as much. He's really trying to focus on defense, crit rate, and crit damage here. He's not really too focused on speed. He's not really too focused on the HP. But this is gonna scale. If you get like more grindstones and enchant gems for HP, you're gonna notice he actually does more damage uh, with that too. So yeah, there we go. We got to see him in. Uh, whatchamacallit, and where's his face? We kind of see him in, uh, in Testy, Testy, Testies, and in Arena as well. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you, as always, next time I get a sandwich in the next video.